when you're young, man, you're going to have a lot of ideas. You're going to have a, a, a lot of ideas flowing through you. You need to take a step back. You need to start, you know, rationalize and, and learn how to be patient. You know, you want to do this, you want to do A and B at the same time. That's extremely dangerous. First, you need to figure it out. Okay, if I'm very technical and I'm not good in business, you need to find a partner that is good in business. And the other way around, if you're good in business, not good in, you know, your technical background is, is lacking, then you need to work on your technical background. Whatever you do, you need to take a step back. And then you need to pick what business you're going to do. You're not going to be able to do both at the same time, especially if you don't have any money, you know. And, and first of all, what's the rush? You know, if, you, if you're 19, 20, 21, which is most of one of those kids that I meet and talk to, if you're those age, it'll take you five to ten years to build a, a, a strong business, a strong base. By the time you build that business, you're 25, 30, you're still young. You know, you don't have any rush. Why are you rushing? You know, then you can build your second business. If you want to do both at the same time, you better have some strong backing. You better have some good experience in doing so. You know, I always say, yes, business is a little bit of luck, but that luck don't come to anybody. You know, it, it, it comes after you get started, you meet the people, you network and all those things. So, you know, take a step back, you know, find a partner. It's better to be two than one. And I've, I've, I've spoke about that before. And then from there, when you get that step back, then you can plan, get your business plan. Where are you going to find funding? Who's, who's your customer? A lot of time I ask those guys, so who you gonna who you gonna sell this? Well, they wanna build an app to sell to a big business and make a, a, a shitload of money. Man, that that that's beautiful, but it doesn't happen like that often. You know, maybe one in a million, but it doesn't. And now, you know, building a unique app, I'm not saying it's impossible. It is still impossible. I'm sure there's a lot of issues that, you know, we haven't been thought of. I don't know any, but, you know, it, it is still possible. But at the same time, that luck, you, you want to build a, a, an app to, to sell it to somebody and make a shitload of money, it's not, it's not going to happen, at least not that I know of. So pick your poison, you know, and how you pick your business, which one you want to do, which one you're the most passionate about, which one you feel strongly about. You know, which one you feel, you know, that you can really make it happen quickly and you're going to be passionate and love building it because that's going to be your fuel that's going to keep you going when things are down, you know, and it will happen. And then take your time, strategize, put your, your thoughts together, find that partner and go to that journey because it's going to be the hardest journey in your life. So why would you want to stretch yourself so thin and increase your, change, uh, your chance of failure? You don't want to do that. So take your time, you know, and I hope this video will bring you some value and, and reflect before you make that decision.